Civit AI's homepage is full of images generated by Flux these days. It's so surprising that SDXL was ruling for a year, now vanished completely from the front page. The reason is Flux, which is good at comprehending text and descriptions provided in prompts. It also generates images with remarkably detailed features that can captivate even the most casual observer, grabbing their attention for at least a few seconds. I'm grateful for the copy option, which allows me to have the exact settings used by this person to generate such stunning images with Flux. Having these details and with the help of Ruined Focus, anyone can generate such images now. The application we are familiar with for generating image, Focus, was ruined by a few developers. That's what comes to my mind after looking at the name this application has. Or maybe I should say it was ruined in a better way. The image generation details are somewhere close to what I have kept. The model I have selected here is Flux 1 Dev. Let's generate. The image is so good. Let me open the image in a new tab and generate a second one. Isn't it amazing? The quality of image generated will definitely grab attention if posted on Civit AI or any other social media platform. The color, wrinkles around the eyes, and dark shadows all complement the entire image generated by Flux. The original image on Civit AI, where we took the details from, seems to have used some kind of a Laura. The application Ruined Focus is available on the same platform as Focus is, owned and maintained by this person. Also, this person, currently active and working on the application, answering, solving problems, and I am thankful for their efforts. The application page link will be shared in the description. To install this application in Windows, scroll down, you will find a compressed file. Download the file. After download, you will need to extract the file using 7-zip as said here. I had some problems while extracting, so I used a different software and it worked. After extracting the file, you will see a folder something like this with a size around 5.5 gigabytes. Inside you will find a bat file to run the application. I suggest not to run the application right now. If you have Focus already on your computer, go to the checkpoint folder, copy the checkpoints which Focus downloads on its first run, and paste it in the ruined Focus checkpoint folder. All the selected checkpoint here are from Focus application. Running the new application will skip the downloading checkpoints and will quickly start after the necessary downloads. My prompt, as always, a woman. If I generate an image using SDXL, this is the result as expected. Actually, the style selected is different from what Focus has. If I just change the style to anime and try again. So. The result is what we normally see in Focus using SDXL. If we check the models available, these are Flux and SDXL, both from the checkpoint folder. The second and third image here are the two Flux models I had downloaded. The third model you saw is the Flux 1.S. The letter S stands for Schnell, trained on 12 billion parameters. That is too much data if compared with SDXL. Also, the image gets ready in just few steps. The other Flux model is this. Flux 1.D. The letter D here refers to dev. This consumes more computer resources than the Schnell version we saw before this. Generating images in 20 steps makes it slower. Actually, the Schnell is made after dev for lower end computers. Schnell is also faster compared to dev. Let's try using the Schnell version and check the results. To do so, I need to change the default settings applied here. The style and this preset is not needed. This is all for SDXL models. I will use the custom option which allows me to change the settings needed for Flux. As per Civit AI website, 4 steps were enough, but I feel somewhere between 4 and 8 gives good results. CFG works around 1. Sampler will be Euler. Scheduler will be 
the default keras will work. I think the rest can be left as it is. You can save the custom preset if you want. To write a prompt, this application has a prompt generator. This is known as one button prompt. It generates some nice detailed prompts. Initially, this feature was for SDXL, but the prompts work for Flux model as well. Clicking this random prompt button will add a prompt in the prompt section, like this. Now, we can generate an image using Schnell model. Loading a Flux model does take all the space. If you look at the memory graph, I wonder if this is the same with 32 gigabytes of memory. Once it's loaded, the graphic card starts working. Because it's a Schnell version, image generation will be fast. We got the image and the image is good. The highlights of flux, like colors and details are present, with portrait depth. Let's change the prompt. The prompt generator has a preset, like this cybernetic animal. Now should get a prompt for a cyborg-like animal. Let's generate. We got the image in 25 seconds, and the cyborg crow looks good. Let's decrease the steps as recommended on Civit AI. You will notice, the memory consumption is low. Only graphic cards will have a spike for a few seconds, and the result is a cybernetic crow with red eyes. I tried getting a prompt for a unique person's portrait. The time taken is always around 25 seconds. The results are always good and more detailed if compared with SDXL results. I tried again by increasing the steps to 8. The results were, as expected, fine details and proper dark areas. I tried generating a landscape of a game. The results are acceptable. Let's look for Laura in the model section of Civit AI. Flux is almost a month old now. I am looking for a LoRa, and the version will be Schnell. If we look at the available LoRa for Flux Schnell, by scrolling, there are not that many right now. At least not as much as Stable Diffusion has. The one I downloaded is this sketch for testing, you can see in the right on Civit AI. I downloaded this, assuming this will give more noticeable changes to find whether LoRa is working or not. I will select the Flux Schnell model, and then go to the LoRa section. Clicking the plus icon will show me all the LoRa available. The sketch LoRa is the one compatible with Flux Schnell. By clicking on the LoRa, I will select it. These are the trigger words for this. I will get a random prompt from the preset, Artful People's Portraits. These are the settings, and I will generate an image. The reason I am not using the trigger words and LoRa weights because to see the difference. The memory graph was low, and a nice image has been generated without having any changes due to LoRa. I am certain, the LoRa has no effect on the image generated, let's try using the trigger words. The memory graph went from 40 to 55%, and the LoRa has an effect. For some reason, there is no background but I like the image generated. It has the expected quality that Flux is known for. I will increase the weight to 1.35 and generate. The LoRa I am using is named as a sketch, but the image is turning out to be something different. It's not a sketch, but it is worth having a look for a few seconds. The option for LoRa is limited for now in the Schnell version, but it works in this application. I tried the same prompt without Laura, and the image generated looks good to me. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments if you are interested in using Flux or fine with SDXL. Stay connected for the second video.